Howdy and welcome back to another video. It's been quite a while since I've posted a video on my channel. Uh, it is for life reasons. Uh, I've, I'm actually sitting in my new apartment in Gangnam in Seoul in Korea. Uh, I've moved here for the next 12 months or 12 to 18 months. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, it's been a bit of a whirlwind. Um, we took a bit of a holiday on the way here. We went through Indonesia um, and then to Japan as well and ended up here in Korea. And uh, me and my wife are living here and um, teaching and um, yeah, just having a crazy experience. And um, this kind of change in my life and routine has allowed me to uh, test out some new theories and ideas about uh, the cameras that I own and uh, the positives uh, and the negatives about them. So today I wanna to talk to you guys about why I think that the Canon EOS M with the 22mm pancake lens is the ultimate pocket cinema camera. So, uh, if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, stick around and let's jump into the video. The camera that fits into this category of ultimate pocket cinema camera actually needs to be pocketable. So uh, this is the first reason why I love this little setup. You can see it is so incredibly small. Um, this camera, if you don't know much about the Canon EOS M, is actually a bit over 10 years old. Um, it is just a tiny camera and it actually can fit in your pocket. Let's, let's show that right now. That is the first reason why I chose to use this camera mainly through my trip through Indonesia, uh, because it is so very small. Uh, obviously when you're traveling, uh, you wanna have a light footprint on like around you and everything like that. And so, so speaking of the overall footprint of this, and let's stop and talk about the lens here for a second. I'm gonna make a whole separate video about why I think this lens is so amazing. But essentially, uh, this lens is an F2 on an APS-C, so around an F3 uh, on um, full frame equivalent. It gives you a 35 millimeter equivalent, which is really great. Um, and you know, it, it auto focuses as fast as the system will let it uh, auto focus. Uh, zoom ring isn't amazing. Uh, sorry, the focus ring isn't amazing, but I'm not really using that that much. I've actually developed a new method for focusing while using that magic lantern, which doesn't involve touching the camera, which is quite good. Um, but yeah, this 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 lens is, is a key part of the pocketable uh, cinema camera setup with the EOS M. All other lenses I just find are too big and too cumbersome, and, and I don't really want to bring it with me. You might, if you followed my channel for a while, you might have seen that. Uh, my whole approach to using the Canon ESM is kind of different to a lot of other guys online. A lot of other guys online are rigging them up and putting in these, uh, you know, you know, these box style cameras and all that sort of stuff. And that's all really cool and interesting. I just don't really want to do that with this camera. Uh, what I want to use this camera for is essentially a point and shoot that gives me raw video. Taking photos on this, I've actually figured out how to use Magic Lantern and the photo capabilities uh, side by side. Previously, um, the kind of going between Magic Lantern and the photos uh, on this camera just took too long. So I wasn't really shooting any sort of photography uh, on this camera, but I figured out a way to do that. We'll make a video about that soon. But yeah, just the overall size of this is fantastic. Um, you can slip it in your pocket. I was actually just putting in this little side bag that I bought uh, and just taking it with me everywhere. Uh, and yeah, getting some great photos. Um, I've, been, I've been messing around with customizing the picture profiles in the Canon EOS M. And uh, yeah, been actually getting some looks that are pretty close to what I get out of uh, messing around with the X-T4 and, uh, and the film simulations on that, so which is really cool. So, you know, getting 
great JPEG straight out of camera, uh, and then using having the ability to shoot raw video at 14 bit, um, you know, to get pretty good resolution. I'm shooting at 5K uh, anamorphic, so it's not a true 5K, but it's kind of a stretched version, and that looks uh, amazing. Um, so um, I'm actually going to be playing be playing around with putting the 5K 25. Uh, FPS into uh, Topaz uh, AI Labs and getting extra frames out of the uh, videos that way yeah, but that's a future video as well. Yeah shooting 5k is really good that's kind of like my bread and butter um, from the clips that you can see here from my trip through Indonesia. Um, I was starting to play around a little bit with using other crop modes to punch in um, on things which is really good and the f2 lens kind of allows you to maintain some resemblance of separation when you're punching in in those high crop modes, uh, which is really good as well. So um, if you don't own one of these yet, you definitely should. Um, I'm sure there's other cameras out there that are you know, gonna get you amazing stuff, um, but there is something magical about shooting with this little camera. Um, it's about uh, reviving life uh, into technology that was once passed. Uh, oh, sorry, that is once that has once um, been used and uh, gone by its use by date. So, um, yeah, if you're looking for a camera uh, that can literally fit in your pocket, that can take pretty decent JPEGs, um, and can actually shoot amazing quality video, then I think the Canon EOS M with the 22 millimeter lens is your go-to. So, uh, if you're interested in anything that I've spoken about there with regards to future videos, we've got a, a dedicated video on the 22mm lens, we've got a dedicated video on shooting uh, in the different crop modes and the crop modes that I use there, okay, um, or a dedicated video about how I've been messing around with the JPEG uh, picture profiles inside this camera. Love for you to subscribe uh, and check out some of my other content, it's mainly around the Canon EOS M and the Fuji cameras. Um, so other than that, have a great day and we'll catch you in the next video.